Hello and welcome to another Boogie Bow. How to play something on the electronic keyboard. And today we're going to look at making a backing track and then playing along with it. Yeah. The uh, 12 bar blues format, of course, in the key of C, so it's easy. And uh, I have this, if you go to my Facebook page, you can find an image of this uh, music score on the post. So you can download it, print it. Yes. Now let's look quick. The uh, first four bars is all we're going to look at. The uh, simple bass, I'm calling it, is just to play the root, third, fifth, and back to third. So that would be a bass line, you call it, and up to F, and so forth. Now, a better bass is what I call this, this line right here, is to uh, don't do the first, third, fifth, third. Do something a little more interesting like. Like that. So that's pretty easy to figure out. And uh, the last thing we're going to look at is I call it the left hand. So, when the bass is playing along, what you can do in the left hand is just the third and the seventh of that chord. And I, it's be the, of course, you might think of it as the flat seventh, but it's a seventh chord, we'll call it. That's C, the third and the seventh. Now, for F, we just move the fingers a little bit. Now let's look at that again, the C, then for F are those two notes. So it's pretty easy. You don't have to look at the keyboard is what's important. And it's going to sound okay because you're going to have that bass booming in the back, filling in. Now for G, what is this? And of course, that's the last four bars, G, then down to F, then uh, C again. Then we're going to keep looping and go back up to what G. Then we start over, bar one, C. Now in the right hand, you can play chord, or you can do your blues scale, or whatever you can think of. So I've recorded a drum track and played the bass myself. And I put it in an M3P file, and uh, then I truncated that file so I can loop it and just keep it playing and just keep practicing to it. So this is what it's going to sound like, okay? With one, two, measure three, three, then four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I'm going to play. So you want to do that, get that left hand.
so that's what Seth's about. Yep. And uh, I didn't do anything fancy there. <laughs> I didn't want to screw up the recording too bad. Okay. So, but you get the idea of what you can do, and it don't take that long to make your own backing track. No. And they're fun to play along with. And uh, hope you enjoyed this lesson. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Yes.